Um, so, um, Leon, infused with the power of the earth, shall, shall take in his blade one in one hand, and you and use he's going to use it to use it to cast his burning arc upon right. both groups. All right. This will uh, still you... suffer the uh, the minus two penalty because this is a uh, still a uh, range type thing. And it's versus physical defense. Yep. Um, so, attack crawl against the mooks, attack crawls against the hunter. Those both hit. Yep. For 12 points of fire damage, Ooh. as Leon, you know, as Leon with, with his blade runs runs his finger down it, infusing it with both his own energy, own dark energy and the energies whirling around him, and swinging out in a vortex of fire that engulfs one of them and injures the others. Don't don't worry. After they all use their powers and it's all said and done, Thomas will be able to shine. <laughs> all right, the Edder Cap Hunter is staggered. Well, that that seemed effective. It sounded like it got weaker when it staggered. So he must have healed off screen. No, no, no the, the, the one, one who is injured up. is still staggered. And, oh, uh, he's he, up there. He yeah, looks right. far more confident now that he's with others. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, Thomas, Thomas, it is your turn. Well, it's it's time to assess the situation, mm. giving right. him three command <laughs> points, and mm. after that, he will use his basic tactical strike, which is a quick action. All right. The, the target will be Tempest, who may make a basic attack. All right. So you make a basic. Okay. You may make a, a basic free action. range attack as a free action. All right, so I got a basic uh, range attack, I guess. Uh, yes. Let's go for the hunter, I guess. Then. All right. Again. That Oof. is a hit. The uh, hunter staggers under the force of the blow, but he does not go down. Thank you. A job. The, the way this basically goes is, is Thomas stops for a moment, just looking around, counting all the enemies out loud, so his, his allies can hear. And, and then he basically just spins around, pointing at Tempest, points at the attack of Hunter, and says, Go for him again, come on! Okay, okay, so <laughs> And then he moves here. <laughs> Alright. The, uh, the drow archer, who appears to be a leader of some sorts, moves next. She steps out of the cover, plants her feet upon the highway, looks down the highway at Hiram lifts her bow, and fires. 21 versus armor class for 7 Certainly points hits. of damage on here. I'll take it. The, uh, the archer who ran from you folks previously will, uh, upon seeing her leader, step forward and do the same thing, lining up a shot at the wizard. That is totally not a hit. Good work. You can, you can see why the other one's the leader. <laughs> yes. The other cap hunter, the one who is heavily injured, goes next. Uh, he will actually look over at Tempest and Leon and actually activate an ability called Web Spray, which can target... Let me check to make sure here. I didn't note this down on his token. That was like there, PD. Or, yes, it, it would be that. It's also 1d4 nearby enemies, so it might not hit both of you. Oh, no, it totally fucking hits both of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is an attack roll versus uh, Tempest. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that, that's that, an that attack hit. roll versus Leon. All right. Yep. For, uh, for, the, for, for Tempest, you suffered six damage, and you are hampered. You can only make basic attacks. And this is a save-ins effect. For Leon, um, this is an I, odd like, roll. Just going to half the damage of that. All right, one. so it's only three damage. You nullify the critical. For Leon, that's an odd one. So you are stuck. You can't move, disengage, pop free, change your position, or let anyone else move you without teleporting. All right, and the hunter will actually... Uh, as his move action, he'll actually move forward and uh, engage with Tempest. Heavily oh. injured, but damn, is he pissed. Yep, I can dig that. 
It is Hiram's turn, suffering a fusillade of arrows from the archers. Well, you know, I'm sort of not really expecting more, to be honest. They step out and he just sort of gets two arrows that he sort of narrowly dodges, cutting in his, his cloak. He sort of quickly moves into the forest for a bit of cover. And then seeing the other cap being weakened, he will fire a, uh, a magic missile. All right. Which, of course, is uh, the nice 2d4 plus 4. All right. 11 damage to it. Against the other cap hunter, that is enough to kill it. It falls okay. next to Tempest's body, slain. I had that one! <laughs> As he sort of, the, it sneers, looking at him, sort of looking at Tempest, trying to sort of bite him, oozing its its web anywhere. As you just see, it sort of, it's... The, the, the meat and, and skin of its head just sort of begins evaporating as the skull is revealed and then just sort of gurgles and falls forward. Its right. brain halfway dismantled. Okay. Hey, Remind me, now you see why I don't like dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can perfectly understand of that. <laughs> it is now time for the two mobs to move. The Acolytes here. Tempest is no longer engaged. Uh, the Acolytes, uh, one will try to uh, engage Leon, who is stuck. I, I don't know if I can intercept. I'm stuck. No, you're, you're not, not stuck. stuck. You're stuck. hampered. So oh, you could I'll intercept if you chose. Okay. I intercept. And actually, the other one will then move to engage you as well. And because... Because... Because you are sobbing profusely. Let me know. Just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Not gonna role play a character like that because you are hampered. They activate a special ability all their own: an auto hit attack, fanatical devotion. <laughs> the acolyte effectively explodes on you with a battle cry, covering you in a shower of poison, which hits you for ten points of poison damage. Yep, down to seventeen. And then the other one does the exact same thing for another eight oh. points of poison damage on Tempest. Those Ooh. guys are kills, right? <laughs> uh, you are staggered. <laughs> they are dead. <laughs> I'll set my stage. <laughs> the, other, the other mob of Acolytes senses Tempest's weakness, and they double move. <laughs> bring it! Come on, bring it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I uh, thought I made a separate... I must have accidentally fucking removed him. What if I rolled? Did I only roll one initiative result for the, uh, the damn Matter Cap Hunters? No, I rolled two. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he should have been there. Well, we'll say that since he was staggered, his initiative result of 11 actually didn't come into effect until now. And I'll actually kick him back up the list to where he belongs at 11. There we go. A little too high, right? It's a little too high, yes. Fucking shut up, Skype. I don't have time for you. Shut up, computer. <laughs> Delete you. Uh, the other editor cap hunter will now actually act as well and uh, join them. Perhaps he was just waiting for, you know, reasons. <laughs> Escalation die is set to one. Maybe he was scared and concerned over what the fuck just happened. Set to one. Set to one. God. Uh, Fargus's yeah. turn. All right. I think it's time for a ruination. Okay. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'm going to move here first, actually. Okay. Then I can target all of them. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going sure. to be yeah. brave here. <laughs> so Fargus moves up to the middle of the road and uh, slams his spear down into the ground. Okay. Sending out a huge shockwave. All right. Targets all his enemies. That's 20 versus... Yeah. That is enough to hit. And 7 damage to all nearby enemies. It kills one of the mooks. That does not kill the hunter. But he rotates his attention. Oh. Yeah, like, it's, that's a mob of mooks, so they take that damage once. Yeah, they do. Let's see here, that's enough to hit both archers as well. I'll adjust their hit points accordingly. Uh, it either hits all enemies or none, so... Alright. Let me go ahead also and remove this initiative. Okay. Tempest, it is your turn. You are hampered, so you can only make basic attacks. These two acolytes just charged you and basically detonated upon you, showering you in poison. Well, first of all, I'll interrupt here. 
All right. <laughs> because Tempest really needs a breather right now. Okay. <laughs> Tempest likes his breather. All right. You may uh, use a recovery as a free action. Ten points. Woohoo! That takes you really down to good. seven recoveries. Nineteen and seven recoveries. All right. Sweet. Okay. Well, as my movement, uh, I'm not staggered anymore, actually, but I am still hampered. You are still hampered, so you can only make basic attacks. So I'm going to move here. All right. To engage just this one. All right. All right. And I'm going to stab him. Well, not stab him. I'll, yeah, I'll stab him with a wrench. Yeah, that works. I'll clobber his <laughs> head. All right. <laughs> that is not enough to hit his armor class. Oh, it's plus one. Plus one for the escalation dice. That is true. That's still not enough to hit. Damn what what's the uh, what's the attack roll on that? What's the value? Uh, it's one d twenty plus five plus one. Like, so that's an eight then. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. I I couldn't see it due to how the macro is designed. I can't see when I mouse over it, so I need to check to confirm that. No problem. All right, Leon, it's your turn. You are stuck. Hmm. Tempest. <laughs> Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna fucking set this forest on fire. Which, by the way, trees are yes. tre trees are burning right now. Just so you know. <laughs> no, what have you done? It it reflects nicely in Hiram's eyes. <laughs> you see, uh, his see, spirit is lifted. These enemies <laughs> these enemies do not have cover, so uh, you don't suffer a minus two. Mooks. Oh, That's a crit. Non mooks. That's versus physical defense. That is enough to hit the hunter as well. Well, this should be interesting. Um, so the damage is 13 or 26 on the mooks. I think the mooks are dead. Well, uh, go ahead and give me a description of how this goes. <laughs> Leon, trapped, unable to move, and absolutely frustrated, raises his blade into the air, runs his fingers along it. You see his power just absolutely arcing off of it, shout, shouting for Tempest to duck quickly. As he slashes out, and a, and a maelstrom, or even just a whirlwind of fire, sprouts out over Tempest's head, incinerating all of them to ash. Alright. Um, <laughs> Tempest will pat, pat out a little flame that's ignited on his hood. Because <laughs> I forgot this, it, Tempest's turn, when you ended it, make a one roll a 1d20. This is a normal oh. save versus your hampered effect. That is a failure, you are still hampered. Uh, presuming that you were ending your turn, Leon, make a normal save for me as well. That is a success. You are no longer stuck. Woo! Whoops, I pied stun back. Uh, Thomas, you. the forest is a little bit smoky right here. Uh, you've lived near Centicor long enough, and you don't really have any sort of relationship with the High Druid, but this is cause for great concern. This could attract other predators. This could attract the attention of a druid. You know, on the other hand, smoke is good for cover. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a great I, signal for enemies. <laughs> I like that. This square provides a plus two bonus to your defenses <laughs> good. versus ranged attacks. Gage. That's hide in the cover. <laughs> You're welcome. And, uh, and let's see. He, he will just uh, take off one of his small axes from a spell and throw it at the draw archer. All against right. the one who he thinks is the leader. All right, go for it. I, I, is yes. this the right macro? Yes, and that, that was a no complete shit hit. All right, your axe oh. sails past the archer, past a tree, and into the forest. You know, it was meant as a distraction. <laughs> well. <laughs> This didn't really go how the archers had scripted it, uh, in the grand scheme of things. This really is a little awkward. Uh, you've got... Well, they were thinking about maybe shooting these people. All of a sudden, this plume of smoke has risen up to give them <laughs> plus two of their defenses. That druid, though. Uh, Fucking nope. asshole. Brave bastard. <laughs> the leader is going to relocate, basically, like, back here. Uh, no, she's going to relocate into the cover. And uh, then she will shoot at Fargus. Seven points of damage on Fargus. Mm -hmm. And the normal archer uh, follows her leader and also shoots at Fargus for uh, six damage. points of damage as they uh, pepper you with arrows. 
Well, that is the end of their turns. That hunter is dead. Whoa, hear him. Well, seeing as they now moved out of my range, I'll go here. Staying in the cover okay. of fire and wood, and then I can take a standard action to recover, right? Yes, you uh, okay. rally. And, uh, yeah, uh, I will do that then. Getting five hit points. All right. Escalation die goes to two. Fargus, you have been staggered. These archers uh, pinpointed you while you were out of cover, and they told you to get the fuck out of their way. <laughs> yep. Uh, Fargus, <laughs> go back here. <laughs> uh, and uh, you say recovery. All right. And then, a free, and then a free action to tell Leon, Don't set the fire blaze, you fool! It's good cover. It will attract attention, you fools. Dirk is also screaming the same thing. We're supposed to be covert! I don't want to check <laughs> Well, that didn't go very well, did it? <laughs> I don't want the high druid to kill me! <laughs> the forests are enemies as well. No, it's not! <laughs> All right. Tempest, it is your turn. You are still hampered. <laughs> ID6, holy shit. Plus two. Griff, you're muted. Yeah, Griff, if you're speaking, you're muted. He's just rolling in hex. <laughs> or okay. I don't know. <laughs> Forward! Okay. Uh, Out of the smoke cloud. One. Yeah. yeah. Uh, two. All right, that gives you some cover then, definitely. Oh, wait. I could, mm. Yes, you could uh, move to engage uh, one of them, which would end up being the drow archer who would intercept you and leave her leader out of it. Alright, well, in that case, I'll move over here to give you space. Um, but I will engage the... Yeah. Since mm -hmm. like I was going in for the leader, I'll engage the archer. Alright. And that's my turn. Okay, go ahead and roll a normal save, please. 1d20. You are no longer yeah. hampered. Leon, it's your turn. Leon will move forward now he's no longer stuck to the ground, goddamn. Yes. Into his own smoke cloud. Yes. And is going to throw a chaos bolt. Or fire one, more precisely. I take a minus four to this, he's in cover, and it's long range, which this spell does not like. Alright. Fun. Uh, d20. Uh, did you get plus four from the spell as well, though, right? That is true. Which yeah. kind of balances out. Forest is violated that they actually helped set the force to place. Yes, you helped with that inferno. <laughs> How do you feel? You're gonna have to answer violated. for this, Fargus. <laughs> It'll spread, don't worry. This is going on That's your permanent record. <laughs> <laughs> What's it mean? So, uh, this is against, um, let's say against the Drow Archer at the front. Okay. Uh, against physical defense. That is not a hit. You know, Leon, you can do that better. Come on. Uh, All right. I get to re-roll the attack? Yes. That, that is, is a hit. <laughs> Very well. He's going to take, uh, let's see, 1d8 plus 4 plus 4. <laughs> Curve the chaos bolt around, you fool! <laughs> oh, yeah! As more negative energy as a, as a bolt of... Um, Sickening, corrupting energy fires out awkwardly and spins and crashes into the back. So we've got a necromantic pyromancer. Who knew? I, I don't approve at all. <laughs> right now, like all of your disapproval right now. Yeah. The archer right now, is don't staggered. care too much. <laughs> I'm dealing damage, aren't I? Yeah, Thomas. This, this is good goodwill, you know. Thomas, it is your turn. Uh, yeah, let's engage let's go one. engage the leader. Yeah. All right. I'll yeah. Go for it. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Now, in this game, uh, you do not suffer opportunity attacks if you're making a ranged attack against the person you are engaged with. As a result, the archer leader, both archers will level their bows at the people with whom they are engaged. First, the leader against Thomas, because he kind of put himself right in her face like that. That is a one, but black fusillade. If this creature rolls a natural 1 through 5 at a ranged attack, re-roll the attack against another nearby or far away enemy. Thomas is going to get an opportunity attack here. Sure. Uh -oh. 
Uh, escalation die is two. That, nope. As, as the leader, furious with her miss, swivels her bow and immediately fires a shot off at Tempest. That is oh, also prick. a miss that's within one to five. She takes three damage from absolute frustration and ends her does, turn. <laughs> does she also take the miss damage from my melee attack? She would take the yeah. miss damage okay. from your melee attack one damage. as well. What yes. kind of damage is that? Like mental damage? or? It basically, it's like psychic damage. Like, she is <laughs> so pissed. Morale. Boom. Yes. Like a she gets brain cancer. The, uh, the Drell Archer engaged with Tempest, fires her longbow at Tempest, and uh, will yeah. hit. Ow. For six points of damage. I believe that staggers you again. Yar. Okay. Well, uh, they're unproductive. Well, somewhat productive turns aside. The leader is pretty damn pissed at what happened. <laughs> they end their turns. It is now Hiram's turn. Sure. I mean, there is always this, there's this swirling nature energy around him, and he does feel it's like it, nature has great power. And if it can only be tamed and harnessed, it can be utilized to do great things. And that's basically what he's doing right now, sort of grasping the wisp-like light, shaping it, and then using it to to, to strengthen his magical spells to uh, to hurt I, these creatures. I, I like that. Give yourself a plus two from Hiram being inspired by the smoke and fire sure. of the wildfire. Is that to bird. damage? Plus two to attack. Because I don't need that at all. <laughs> then, we'll go ahead, <laughs> then we'll go ahead and say a plus two to damage, yes. All right. As, uh, as he again begins to utilize the, the sort of... Um, eroding power of nature to simply just uh, what have I just, done? Uh, dismantle that that uh, that staggered one. Okay. I just got this mental image of the emperor's cackling going ah! <laughs> She's not dead yet but she looks pretty close. He Escalation die goes up to three. It is now Fargus's turn. Uh, this is pretty demoralizing, Fargus. <laughs> Hero yeah. might be inspired, but uh, this is pretty upsetting as far as things I, go. I regret, I regret everything. <laughs> Fargus will not step into the smoke. He will instead move over here. All right. Uh, uh, and then he will uh, cast... Um, yeah, he will turn into a Tesla tower and uh, shoot at the draw archer. Okay. The one who is uh, severely injured? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So try to finish it off. You I'm do so. Hooray! And a free action to lament these slavish choices. I like it, Tempest. <laughs> what? You Why are did no I meet these people, <laughs> Tempest. You are no longer engaged. Now, as a reminder, you've already rallied once this battle. In order to rally again, you would have to roll a normal save. A success would allow you to use a standard action to use another recovery. Alternatively, you can go about the rest of your turn. Take her down. I'm going to take him down. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the thing is, I'm aiming to kill it, so I'm not going to plan on stealing from it. That would be silly. You can <laughs> steal from her later. Yeah, I can steal from her corpse. That wins. <laughs> exactly. Um... No, you're not staggered, so that doesn't work. So we are going to go with an evasive strike okay. with sneak attack. Okay. 1d20 plus 5 plus 1. That is not enough to hit our armor class. Plus, plus 3. Plus 2, or plus 3, yes. Plus Isolation. 3, 18, yes. That is enough to hit her armor class. Okay, 1d8 plus 1d6. Not 7, plus 5. <laughs> Well, I got some news. She is staggered now. I, I'm not going to pop free. All right. Leon, it's your turn. Do I still get cover here? No. Road tile. I don't think you need it. No, but, you know, I was you know, I was curious about it. I'm going to move here. All right. Away from the druid, who seems who seemed to be saying bitter words behind me. I think there was cover from Fargus. He's granted us access to such great untapped reserves of power. He has. <laughs> and with these untapped reserves of power, I'm going to aim my hand crossbow of Chaos Bolt. This, this is truly this glorious. This will never happen again. You enabled them, Fargus! <laughs> he did! What have I done? <laughs> you ruined the forest. What kind of druid are there you? There are only more druids like you. <laughs> Versus physical defense. That is a Why hit. Why don't I have a water spell? 
that is 11 points of cold damage. All right. Can she cast some of that from the fire? <laughs> Maybe. She it turned into necrotic energy. <laughs> she, she is not dead, but she looks close. Thomas. All right. Let's see if Thomas can do something here. Escalation die is free. Right, you're distracting her. I'll stop um, her. No. You don't even get miss damage? Oh, that was a range attack. Uh, <laughs> well, we're, uh, st so we're, we're still going to use your attack roll of threes, the d20, and you'll just take deal one point of miss damage. Sure, that's good enough. She's still alive. Uh, she looks pretty panicked right now. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, just roll this. Yeah, that's enough. That's an easy save for her. She's pretty committed to this. Uh, so, she's actually going to drop her longbow, pull out her dagger, and attempt to plunge it into Tempest. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that is a miss. And if she had been doing a range attack, that would be a reroll situation. But it's not. Hear him Getting take us home. <laughs> Step close out into the open, sort of grasping all the different different energies that surround him currently. Just a, sort of a glint in his eye. Actually, actually smile a bit as he's just lost in the feeling of, of power he currently has. This surge, this unlimited potential. He just draws upon it to just, you know, yeah, again, like unmake the elves. Okay. That is enough to kill her. She dies with a screech. Combat mm -hmm. is over. Well, Thomas will immediately go towards the fire Saying we need to put out the fire, so, or we'll attract more. Uh, attention. Yes. So, um, anyone who is staggered, Tempest, you must use a recovery until you are no longer staggered. Cool. All right. Uh, Forgus will try to use his immense power, uh, immense power, uh, immense knowledge of the uh, forest to try to find uh, hints of water anywhere around here. Well, you do know that uh, Full Catch Bay is uh, pretty damn close to this road. Um, you could also perhaps attempt to use your druidic magic, uh, using your magic background, Fargus, in order to attempt to snuff out the flames itself by calling oh. upon the forest spirits. Then I will certainly do that. All right, you may I'll attempt to do that. so. That would be a wisdom skill check using your level uh, and that druidic background. Right. We're looking for a DC 20 here. Here we'll just uh, just sort of smilingly look at the at the the sort of smoldering wood, as uh, as as he sort of moves the last bits of the natural energy that's given to him uh, yes. around with his fingers. That is enough. Uh, Fargus is able to utilizing the uh, the forest spirits who most certainly do not want to burn, and before they enrage <laughs> further, manage to uh, use his uh, his forest magic and connections with the land to uh, snuff out the flames, calling upon a uh, uh, great gust of stifling wind who, even though the oxygen would feed it, are so powerful that it can just completely crush the flames. Um, yeah. And furthermore, you don't think anyone... You don't think any other druid noticed this because you did such an effective job. <sighs> Well, Fargus, he, while he's doing this, he just uh, raises his arms up in the air and closes his eyes and starts humming silently, sort of meditating to summon up the spirits and, uh, uh, yeah, helping them quench the fire. Thomas will help by trying to stomp on fire with his boot. All right. Tempest is just going to pack Fargus and look. He doesn't know how to deal with fire. Yes, he's fine. that's fine. You <laughs> folks, copy your tokens and transfer them back to the world map, please. Right. I hope this has taught the druid an important lesson. What? <laughs> Never trust me with power. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let us move on. All right. Uh, also, yes, also sort of as they walk, go closer to Farkas and say, uh, sort of, uh, I appreciate what you did in the battle. I have never felt such power, such availability of magic. You haven't? I thought you were a wizard yourself. Don't you have uh, such powers yourself? 
The winds of magic need to be tamed. They are faint and weak, swirling around. It takes much to catch them. This was a source given to me right there in front of me, to harness it and shape it so easily. I grasp now why the druids hold such great power. If only more would use it as you do. It's not the power to be tamed. It's given to those who deserve it. Exactly. And it's not something you can grab and just use as you wish. 